welcome back to my channel it is your girl brandy chanel coming to you with another video and am i giving y'all peggy bundy or no y'all i know this outfit is doing a lot but i told y'all since my no buy i have been into my style bag and i've just been having so much fun with my wardrobe so i'm pulling out things putting things together and it just has been giving me life and so here is the outfit that i'm wearing today i love 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 this outfit it's pretty much entirely thrifted except for my bodysuit. So these pants I thrifted from the Goodwill. I love them. They have this red stripe down the side which is giving what it's supposed to give. Um, I love these so much. And then this belt, you guys saw this in a recent video. Um, this is thrifted from the Goodwill as well. I wear this all the time. I just love how it gives to the outfit even though it's basic it's simple but it's patent leather so it's you know what i'm saying giving a little bit of extra love that this sweater with this little faux fur trim is from poshmark love this the only thing that i'm wearing that is not thrifted is my bodysuit it's from kohl's this hat is from uh village value village thrift store i think i paid a dollar for this hat um and then my shoes oh y'all can't see the shoes get into the sh hold on get into the shoe sis get into the shoe i thrifted this from the goodwill years ago so this is the shoe that i'm serving today this is just a little satin vintage moment and i love it so um for jewelry just my mommy's ring this bracelet so sorry this bracelet is also from amazon it is not thrifted um this is a kate spade love bracelet i believe this ring is thrifted i'll link the video up here and then um this necklace is from read your heart and then this one is from marshall's or tj maxx so that is the look that we're serving on today get in get into it what do we think i know it's a lot y'all it's given a lot um but i feel really good so i'm sorry for doing the most but i do feel really good anyway let's go ahead and get into it so you guys know it's february black history month and i am still sh oh these earrings are from goodwill too sorry i forgot about the earrings they're from goodwill too um, and so I'm sharing some of my favorite black owned businesses and some products that I'm using today just because my highlight is giving everything that it's supposed to on today. I want to share with you guys the highlighter palette that I use today. This is Ace Butte black owned makeup brand. I actually got this in a boxy charm. You will see the video if you haven't already, but this was featured in that video. This is giving so much. I love it. I love it so much. I love how my highlight is just like glowing, but it's not like chunky glitter. It just looks so good on the skin. Um, you have so many colors in here and it just works so well. I just love, love, love this palette. I'm, I have so many products from this makeup brand, eyeshadow palettes, bronzers, blushes that I love. So love, love, love. This is something that I'm adding to the collection that I could say that I love as well so good if you're into makeup or anything like that try out any of her products and you will not be disappointed i think she has lashes too i've never received lashes i've never found lashes i don't think i've gotten lashes in a boxy charm but if i ever see them i will probably get them because i just love everything for my brain and she's black owned so kudos to her for that um but today i have another thrift haul for you guys as you know i'm doing a no buy so I, this is not new stuff that i've purchased these are things that i have purchased that i set to the side to show you guys so without further ado i have tons of boots some jackets some shirts some pants all those things so let's go ahead and get into it okay first thing is first with this thrift haul i have a handbag this is the only one i believe that i have but I love this. It's so small. It's so simple. It's not a lot to it. But this reminds me kind of of a Speedy 25 in the size. It's kind of small. Um, it reminds me of like a satchel. But it doesn't have it. it. It has a, what is this called girl? A strap. And I love it because I can actually wear this crossbody. And you guys know how I feel. I have a love affair with navy blue. And so when I saw this, I was like, this is so good. And I could just wear it like this. It's perfect for travel. It's perfect for shopping. It's the perfect little size. It's leather. And it's by the brand. Let's see. 
who are you who amanda smith so i really like this it does have a little zip pocket on the inside of it um but that is the branding on the inside and it's a, just a cute little i think i paid 3.99 for this because they did not charge me at uh like a full purse price they charged me like a makeup bag price so i think miscellaneous 3.99 okay next i have a pair of shoes and i love these i know you're probably like girl there's not a whole lot to love about them but i do i just love these i love the color they're red i love the texture on them um i want to say that this is some kind of reptile embossing these are from the brand Gianni Beanie these are a size eight and a half I love that there's a contrasting black heel here and it's shiny this is just a very well made shoe barely worn as you can see I love this this would even go perfectly with the outfit that I'm wearing on today it would definitely bring out the little red stripe on the side of my shoes but I mean on the side of my pants but y'all know how to be extra with the little satin and bows on it but these two would pair pair perfectly with this outfit I love these a lot I have, I have tons of boots that I want to bring to you so we'll go ahead and get started like when I say that this day I scored all the boots like the same person must have donated because they were all in my size they were all in pristine condition they were all like practically new I just it was just a day for me and you know I love it when I can go in the thrift store and have a day honey so let me share some of the boots that I got with you here is the first pair and these are a pair of lug sole um, this is like a canvas material boot these are from Maurice's brand new never worn I love these these are definitely a staple I feel like these are going to incorporate so well with the other pieces that I have in my wardrobe I can definitely see myself wearing this with a camo something given a given some kind of you know army fatigue moment these definitely are giving utilitarian vibes and I love that um, they're super sturdy they're heavy which I actually like these are in a size 9 I am dying to style these up and when I saw these I had to have them um, boots at the Goodwill these were $12.99 and I was happy to pay it again they're brand new never worn in excellent shape so that was such a good buy Another pair of boots that I found this day at the Goodwill are these right here. And if you know, you know. This is so me. This is my style all day, every day. I love these. I love how like bold and masculine they are, but yet they still give me a bit of femininity. I love these. These are genuine leather. These are vintage. They're a size 10. They are a little bit big, but... I love them because I can wear thick socks with them and they do go up my calf for the most part. They're a little tight on my right calf because it's bigger than my left, but they have this little piece on the side that allows for some stretching that allows me to get this all the way up on my leg on my left and then most of the way up on my right. And then they are also lined on the inside, so they're extremely warm. These are by the brand Blondo and it says that they're made in Canada and I also like the feature here that it has a little tie you would never you would never like untie them because that doesn't help you get in and out the shoe but I just think that it's a cool feature to have on the boot it just makes them really unique and I love that the next pair of boots that I have are these beautiful cognac boots these are so good I when I saw these I was immediately taken the quality of this boot is impeccable the stitching on this sole you can just tell it's a quality boot they're in immaculate condition there are not a lot of scratches or anything on them there is a little bit of wear on the bottom but y'all check it these are Cole Haan times Nike so this is a collaboration between Nike the sneaker brand and Cole Haan the leather brand um, the shoemaker and I'm excited I love these what I will say about these is that there's not a lot of stretch there's no stretch at all actually and they don't fit up my leg all the way they don't fit knee high like they are supposed to but the great thing about these is they look amazing scrunched down so I'm still going to floss these now these are a bit hard to get into they're not 
uh, the easiest to get into I have found that I do have to like unstrap these sides um, to get into them comfortably and just restrap them not a big deal at all these are so comfortable there is an insole in here that is like it's like walking on a pillow these are amazingly comfortable I these are a nine a eight and a half um, if they were a nine they probably would go up my leg a little bit more because as you know when the foot is bigger they give you a little more circumference in the calf uh, area in the shaft as well but nonetheless I love these they fit me nicely they fit my feet perfectly actually um, and they look good scrunched down so I'm not mad at all about these and the fact that they don't go all the way up my leg and the last pair of boots that I have for you all today are these black ones here such amazing quality the features on here are so nice these are a pair of Ancline genuine leather boots all of these boots uh, are genuine leather if I didn't say that except for the ones that are canvas these are in such good shape they are so soft they're so smooth um, I love the, the features on here like this right here um, these actually zip up the back they do have some gold hardware on them um, but these don't actually go all the way up my leg either but what I love about these is the fact that they zip up the back so I don't have to zip it up all the way up the back for you to still get the effect of the full knee high boot in the front so I could have it like unzipped a little bit in the back and to me it doesn't look silly because it's in the back if you were unzipped on the side I feel like that that looks worse than having it unzipped in the back because you can you know what I'm saying I don't know how you know but I think that looks better and I'm glad that these zip up the back because I can't fit them all the way up now this one I can get up um, all the way up on my leg but it's my right calf that is just she won't let me be great she's real thick in here and she just will not let me be great um, but these are an amazing quality again all the boots are $12.99 so I paid $12.99 for each of these and none of them were on sale which is why I say I think that the same person donated them all because they're relatively the same size they're in amazing condition and they're all great quality boots so um, yeah love these love these and I do believe that these are a size eight and a half as well so yeah we are gonna move into coats now I only got one coat so I'll share that with you and then I have some like jackets and shirts and then we'll go into pants but let me share this coat with you you guys know I love a good vintage moment and this one right here was calling my name I love this coat one because purple is my favorite color if you know you know it has a purple scarf attached to it but not only that in the coat you can see that there's purple throughout there and there's like this fuchsia color pink um, as well and then this is just a classic vintage style coat like look at this I love this coat it is double breasted it has pockets it's the brand New York girl and I love it I love it I paid $11.99 for this coat I think it's well worth the price like I said it's the quality you can feel that it's a good quality vintage coat it does have shoulder pads I love that vintage cut on the sleeve there that is one of the things that sold me on this and then just the colors in here this is a really really nice coat and yeah I like it a lot I'll get into the couple of blouses that I picked up the first one I picked up is this black and white striped one from Venus this is so good y'all I love everything about this shirt and I'm definitely going to use this shirt as an opportunity to mix prints and play with different patterns um, this is just classic black and white but the sleeves are sheer which I love they also taper in and give this little bell effect on the end not a bell effect but a cinched effect on the end like a peasant style and then the collar it gives all the ruffles I love that I love 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 that and then it also features like a, a black satin piece in there this is in and in down the buttons you get satin as well this is such a good quality shirt um, I love it and then it is like lined a bit in the body of the shirt so that it's not completely sheer this is such a good moment I love this shirt classic piece you cannot go wrong with something like this in your wardrobe perfect and ideal for trying to mix and match prints the next blouse that I picked up was this one right here and I love it it's the colors for me you guys know I love purple and so this little lavender 
situation with the red for me was a great color blocking moment perfect pairing and this shirt and the floral i love a good floral i love a good puffy sleeve i just love all the dramatics of this shirt and the colors this is another one that i got that i could you know play with um mixing and matching prints with so i love this i think this is a great shirt and it's by the brand halogen so love that for me love that for me now this next piece is not a blouse but it is a sweater and when I saw it I knew immediately that it was a quality piece. Um, I knew that it was something that I wanted in my wardrobe just because it is so nice and it's so different and it's so me. Um, this color first of all is giving everything that it's supposed to give. I am obsessed with it. It's like this, ugh, I can't describe this color. It's almost like a cognac type, mm, I don't even want to say cognac, more like a peanut butter color. Um, and then you also have this metallic silver in here that is just reflective and just giving everything that it's supposed to. And then the buttons are really, really, really nice. This is um, Wool, Needles, and Passion by Mason Scotch. This is a designer brand. Um, but again, I didn't even need to. I knew that by picking it up and feeling it and just the quality of it. I paid $6.19 for this sweater. My favorite part of this sweater, if you know me, then you know I love a good elbow patch. And this star patch right here is on each elbow. And that is that for me. I promise you. I promise you it's that for me. Like, I love that. I saw that and I was like, girl, who donated that and why? Why would you donate that? Keep that. But see, then I wouldn't be able to bring y'all all these goodies. And if they kept it, they would be a hoarder like me. And then that would be no good. We'd have a couple people in the world just hoarding everything. And that would be horrible. So I'm glad they donated it. One day I'm going to get like them. I think I should do like a closet sale or something. Would you guys be up to something like that? Like shopping my closet or items that I have um, that I can no longer fit or that I'm no longer wearing or whatever. Let me comment down below and let me know if you'd be interested in something like that because I have tons of pieces. Some things still with tags that I never got a chance to wear. So let me know girl. The next piece that I picked up this is actually a blazer. Yeah this is a blazer. Another uh, designer brand. This is 5'4". Um, and this is a men's jacket but I love this. It's kind of denim feeling it's almost like a chambray linen kind of mix i can't describe it i really don't know what it is but it feels different it says it's oh it says it's 100 percent linen um so it's linen um but i love it i love the color of this this is going to be a great piece especially in the summertime because i love a good jacket year round i love a blazer and so this will allow me to do that and it'll still be breathable because it's linen so i love that for me this is a uh men's medium and this was six dollars and 79 cents and i love this so much y'all that was in the women's section but but don't be afraid to shop the men's section because you find lots of good pieces in the men's section all the time like i love the men's section the last jacket that i have is this one right here and when i say obsessed I mean that this is kind of like a denim style jacket but it's leather this color is going to give this spring do you hear me I love this color I love colored leather first of all I love leather we all know that but colored leather is really in and it's really trending it was trending last season and it's gonna be trending this season but it, I'm gonna wear it whenever I want to wear it I love this color it's like a turquoise this is from the gap and like I said this is genuine leather I feel like this is a classic vintage piece and again this was seven dollars and sixty nine cents and the Goodwill this is one that they kind of let slip because I've told you guys they raise their prices on their leather pieces and their prices are like $19.99, $29.99. When they see genuine leather, they upcharge it. I think that maybe they thought this was faux leather because it does have a waxy feel to it, but it is 100% genuine leather and I'm glad that they fumbled because I love that. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, let's go ahead and get into some bottoms because I got quite a few pairs of pants. Did I get any skirts? I don't think I got any skirts this go around, which is strange for me because I have an obsession with skirts. But um, I did get some really good bottom pieces. And so let's go ahead and get into those right quick. We'll start first and foremost with a pair of pants that I can't quite fit yet. 
will try to get into them but if I don't I will let them go I am no longer holding on to things that I cannot fit or things that I desire to get into I'm no longer purchasing things that way let me say that this I purchased before my financial fast and before I decided that I was going to be more intentional about the things that I bring into my wardrobe and my closet now with all that being said this is a pant do you hear me this pant this is giving everything that is supposed to give i love these pants these will be perfect for me to wear to the office with a blazer of any color because this color this, this print mixes so well with any and everything i love 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 this um i can't fit them yet i do believe that i can get into them if i lose maybe another like 10 pounds i'll probably be into these fine i can get i can get in them i can button them i can zip them but i look a mess and so we never gonna go out looking a mess and this day red was half off i do remember that so these were five dollars and 49 cents um with half off of that so that is the only reason i went ahead and purchased these because i knew i couldn't fit them when i purchased them but they were half off and they're michael kors and i knew that i could get into them eventually and i love this print so that is why i picked those up um, quite a few other things that i got that were actually half off because they were red that i didn't mention um or maybe they weren't half off. Did I just lie? Because some of those boots had a red tag and they were not half off. So I think I might have just lied to y'all. Never mind. I digress. Maybe it's the fact that they were $5 that I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get these because they're Michael Kors and they're $5. That's probably what it was, girl. See, and that's what I have to, I have to change the way I think. Goodness gracious. Anyway next pair of pants that i picked up were these just active wear uh athleisure type of pants i love these because of the color number one and just the style of them they kind of give like they have this tapered look and high waisted and i just love these i'm definitely going to style these up instead of down i'm you know it'd be very easy to be casual with these but i think i want to do a little bit of both a little casual chic moment with these so love these these were brand new with tags and i paid five dollars and 49 cents for those and i actually grabbed those on my way out the door i saw them leaving the dressing room and i was like "Ooh, i love them give them to me now um so there are those Next pair of pants that I got are just these beautiful blue trousers. These are, I think, Ann Taylor. No, Liz Claiborne. And I love these, first of all, because they're blue. Um, the blue, blue is the base, but it has so many colors going on that you could definitely take these and mix and match these with another print as well, which is one of the things that I look for when I am buying clothes. What I can, you know, pair it with, what I might have in my wardrobe that would style with this. Somebody that I follow says that when you're buying something, you need to be at least able to style it three to five different ways in your head before you purchase it. This is definitely that. I can blouse, I can wear these with a blouse, I can wear these with a t-shirt. Shirt. I can wear these with um, a leather, that leather jacket there. I could wear these with so many different things. Wear tennis shoes. Um, I could wear heels. The possibilities with this is in, are endless and all the colors in here make even more possibilities. So I love these pants for that very reason and that is why I picked those up. Plus they fit kind of like wide leg and so I love that. Ugh, girl, give me all that. On that same trend and same vein of pant, I picked up this one. This is from Victoria's Secret. This may have very well been a, like a pajama pant, but I'm definitely going to wear this as a slack, like a pair of like pants. Um, you'll probably, you may have already or not seen me style these, but I love these pants. I love them. They're like a crinkle, super stretchy. They smell amazing, by the way. But they're this like rose gold color. Um, it's giving very neutral I feel like I can pair this with so many different things and either elevate it or dress it down either way it's gonna hit and I love this little champagne like this satin waist tie here it's like a satiny silk situation so good <clears throat> so good those were five dollars and 49 cents as well when I saw these pants right here, I almost went in to see the Lord because I love them. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. They're tight. You know, I definitely, like I said, can use, lose another five or ten pounds to get into these, but I'm in them, so she's gonna wear them because these are everything. Do you hear me? These are from Zara, and these are like, they were giving me hammer pants 
hammer vibes um, but the, it's the details like they're so detailed and they give a balloon look in the bottom you know in the ankle but they're super high waisted they give a very nice tailored fit um, beautiful like what is this called crease down the front these are so good these are so good I love these oh my goodness I love them another pair of pants that I got are these I love a good high-waisted moment I love a good wide leg and I love a good cropped moment and so these were perfect I picked these up because they do actually match perfectly with that sweater that I just showed you guys with the um, star patches on the sleeve these are so good these are from the gap and these were eight dollars and fifty nine cents because they are are considered denim but I love these and I love the fit of these so good and then with one of these pairs of boots they would look amazing as well so yeah had to have those and then last but certainly not least a pair of jeans I love these y'all I have found that loft makes my favorite jeans period um these fit me so well it's almost like they were made for me and these were i do remember were half off yellow was the ticket of the day on this day baby i just had to have them because they fit me perfectly they're like a good mom jean girl yes yes and yes yes to these half off so I paid four dollars and some change for these I'm always styling up denim so I love those the little bit of distressing that's right here is so characteristic and I love that but y'all that is all that I have for this video um I hope that you guys enjoyed it comment down below let me know what you would like to see me style in my um upcoming style videos that was in this haul um please remember to like share comment and subscribe make sure that you're following me on instagram to get inspo and yeah hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified next time i upload a video i do upload once a week so make sure that you're not missing out on any content i love you guys so much and i appreciate you so much please 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 be nice to each other love on each other and we'll see you next time bye <laughs> definitely giving peggy